you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom there. It really does help out the channel. It allows me to make the purchases that I'm going to show you here. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, you guys know I appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button, you'll get a notification anytime that I put up a new video. Uh, like this one. Uh, if you are using a mobile device, just make sure that notifications are allowed or you won't get the notification. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will get, I answer all my comments. So in any case, what we're going to do today is I've got an unboxing. I bought a new toy here, uh, kind of with a gift card that I got from my girls on Father's Day and for money that I've gotten from this channel. So, like I said, that's why I appreciate when you subscribe. It allows me to buy this stuff. Uh, what I've been using in my shop is this Ryobi router. At first, it was really good. It worked very well. But I'm starting to use the router more than this is intended for. This is more of a do-it-yourself, homeowner type router. And what I'm doing right now is a lot more. <laughs> so what I'm having a problem with right now is the collet down here is not holding the um, the router bit in the way that it should. Um, the battery dies out on me in the middle of it, of working on a project. So I want to upgrade my router a little bit. Uh, I didn't want battery because just for the fact of the battery dying in the middle of using it is very frustrating, especially if you're on a time frame for building something. So, if I can get around here, I ordered through Home Depot. This is a DeWalt DPW 611 router. It's uh, with a cord. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, the batteries for DeWalt tools are ridiculous. And again, I didn't want to go battery. I wanted a power cord. Uh, this is, it runs 16,000 to 27,000 RPMs. It's 1.25 peak horsepower. It's got a little couple of LEDs in it. it. Makes it nice. So what I'm going to do is open this up. Let's see what comes in this box. Uh, uh, from what I understand, it's just the router. But I've been surprised before. So let's take a look. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is let's open this puppy up. And I say this as a warning in on all of my videos, I have very shaky hands, nothing I can do about it. Uh, so be aware. Let's pop this open. As you notice, I'm blurring out my address on these labels and all the information. And on cut. Here we go. All right, so let's see what comes in the box. A lot of cardboard. We've got our operating instructions. The wrench to change the bit. If I can get this out. Ugh. Nice heavy duty cable, or power cord, I should say. Wow, there we go. Okay, so let's take the plastic off of this. Okay, nice quarter inch um, acrylic base here. We've got our on and off switch here. Don't like the cover, but what it does is it keeps the dust out of getting into inside here, so it's a protectant. The, use this to loosen up so that you can you're supposed to be able to take the router out. I think I gotta hold a button in. Oh, button's right here. Nope. Actually, I think we're gonna unscrew this. All right, actually it's kind of easy. Um, unscrew this, you can take the router out to change the bit. Uh, this here is for micro adjustment. It moves this spot here, the collet up and down. All right, basic router. Uh, supposed to have a little more file. Actually the one 
One thing that it does have that my Ryobi router doesn't have is this here. It's adjustable speed, uh, which is nice. It, the larger the, the router bit that you're going to use, you want to use a lower speed so that you don't burn the wood. And then thinner ones, you go up a little higher. So that's basically it. A really simple, basic router introduction. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's it. This is the DeWalt DWP611 corded router. I'm going to put it through its paces and see what it does. I'll get back to you. I'm going to do a follow-up video on it. Uh, one of the reasons I got this also is I've been contacted to make some signs, hand carved signs. Yeah, I know you think with my shaky hands, I'm not going to be able to do that, but actually I am, I can do it pretty well. Uh, don't, don't understand why, but it works. So I'm going to actually be making a sign. So I'll do a video on that and show you how I make a sign and the different processes that I go through. It's going to be the first sign that I ever made using a router. So we'll, we'll go off of that too. So in any case, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said before, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you already subscribed, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hit that bell icon. You'll get the notifications when I make a new video. And if you're using a mobile device, please hit that. Um, please allow notifications. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. Uh, again, being a subscriber, leave me comments, thumbs up, all that stuff allows me to purchase things like this that I'm able to display on this channel. So I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. In that case, I'm going to end the video right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again real soon.